Hi everyone, time for another little story. Now I was promised, I said I'd do something a bit dark, uh, possibly my serial killer one, and so here it goes. Let me know if you enjoy it. Take anything, just don't. I had heard it all before. God, they made me sick. As if them, this one would be any different from all the others. The head made a sickening, or was that slightly thrilling thud as it bounced off the concrete wall? The bright red blood ran as melted wax from a candle flows and the smell was warm and somehow comforting. As I dropped the now limp body onto the pavement, I spat on it in disgust. Oh yeah, you were so different, I thought, as I gave the lifeless woman one last kick and left. The killing had all been easy. It was all too easy. I mean, there was no shortage of prey. It was everywhere. All I had to do was put out my hands and take it, and that's what made it all so tasty. I went home, brushed my teeth, and went to bed. The next morning, I rushed down to the news agents for the paper. I had to stifle a giggle as I read the headline. Demon strikes again. Sounded like some kind of goofy sci-fi movie rather than an article about a murderer. Isn't it terrible, said the newspaper seller. Hope they catch the bastard soon. Oh, just awful, I replied, unable to control the smirk that was creeping over my face. Well, that's what they call me, the demon. Had a catchy ring about it, but I was really beginning to enjoy my fame, even if no one recognised me. Oh, but they would. Many of them would come to know me very well. The next night, I was restless. Every one of my nerve endings was seemed alive. I knew it was time. I had it all planned. Tonight I'd prowl the local supermarket. It had become a favourite hunting ground of mine. The car park was full when I arrived. So much choice, so little time. Pushing a trolley along the canned good dial, I stopped in front of the cream rice and waited. Didn't have to wait long. A slightly plump blonde was making her way towards me. I picked up a can and pretended to read with a confused look on my face. Excuse me, I asked the blonde. I'm babysitting my neighbour's two-year-old and I wondered if you would know if this would be suitable. I watched her face, the quick glance to see if I was just another pervert, then the softening of the eyes as she decided I wasn't trying to chat her up. Yes, I think so. My sister feeds it to her kid all the time, she replied, and then added, It's so nice of you to look after your neighbour's kids. I guess they play with your own, do they? I almost hit her now. I don't have a family of my own. But I hope to someday, I said with a smile. She smiled back. I had her hook, line and sinker. It was all too easy. Her eyes bulged as I tightened my grip around her throat. The gurgling sound that arose from her mouth made me shiver with excitement. I released her just as she lost consciousness. I was going to have fun with this one. My right leg ached slightly from where the stupid bitch had tried to kick me in a vague effort to escape. Yes, I was going to enjoy this. I hope you enjoyed that one.